Hey, Metropolitan Baptist Church family, this is your lead pastor, Arthur Connor Jr., and I'm here today to share with you the weekly updates. Listen, this Sunday we celebrate Easter about what Christ did for us, about what God did for us. Uh, Jesus came for us to rescue us, but also to bring us into the family of God. Uh, Jesus died on the cross for us. He died for our sin, and he also died in our place. Uh, and Jesus rose again for us, meaning he conquered sin and death for us. And we are so excited that we get a chance to celebrate the resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Man, I am so excited that we have hope that is living and that is not dead. Listen, we're becoming a digital church, and so we want to have weekly rhythms. And so I want to share with you our rhythms. On Sunday, we're going to have church online. We're going to have church online at 10 a.m. every Sunday. Uh, it'll be on all of our platforms. It'll be on YouTube, uh, Facebook, uh, Twitter, but then also on our website at metrobc.us. Listen, you can log on. You can share with others. We want to make sure that the quality will be done very well. And so we're going to pre-record the service to ensure that we don't have the same issues we had on Good Friday. And so we want to make sure you feel comfortable inviting your friends, sharing with your neighbors, sharing with your family members who may not have a place to go or may not have access to a service. We want to encourage you to point people to Jesus in this season. Number two, Monday to Friday, the church will be open. The church office will be open from 10 a.m to 2 p.m. from Monday to Friday. So if you want to drop off your offering, if you want to come back and have questions, someone will be in the office from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. from Monday to Friday. Wednesday, you'll get a weekly up update just like this. Um, and we'll be sharing those in-house. We'll be sharing them via WhatsApp, via text messages, emails, um, and they'll be on our website. So you can get an update of what things are going on in our church. Also on Wednesdays, there'll be small groups. Many groups are coming back together again, whether it's Zoom calls or WhatsApp calls or just a conference line number. Um, get with your small group leaders, um, and if you don't have a small group, you can call the church office and we'll get you connected as soon as possible. And Thursdays, we have prayer time, 7 a.m. prayer prayer line and 7 p.m. prayer line. We're going to be spending time in prayer, believing that God hears us. The Word of God says, if my people who are called by my name would humble themselves and pray and turn from their wicked ways. He, he, he will hear from heaven and God said he will heal our line. So I want to encourage you to get on one of those prayer lines whether it's 7 a.m. or 7 p.m. On Fridays, we're going to have Zoom youth calls. Yes, the youth group isn't isn't over it. They're still doing youth group. They're doing Zoom calls. And so I want to encourage you to connect on one of those Zoom calls. For more information about the Zoom calls, you can call the church office or you can send us an email at info at metrobc.us. Not only that, on Saturday we're going to be praying again because we believe in the power of prayer. And so there will also be a 7 a.m. prayer line uh, every Saturday during the season. Listen, as a church, we're encouraging you to continue to pray. We believe that the prayers of the righteous individuals avail it much. We also want you to invite others. Invite folks to the small groups. Invite them to the Zoom uh, call line for the youth. Invite them to the Sunday service. Share. In this season, people are open to hearing about Jesus. We also want you to be generous and give. And I'm so grateful for those who have been given, whether it's online, whether it's mailing in your 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 your, your tithes and your offering, or it's just simply uh, uh, coming by and dropping it off. Whatever you feel comfortable doing, uh, we want to encourage you. We're going to do a better job this week in the service to explain ways you can give. So keep giving. Thank you for your giving so far. But then also we want you to share. This is a great season for you to share your story, for you to share your testimony, for you to share the gospel with those who are far from God. L lastly, we have a new series coming up. It's called Grounded. Listen, we spent weeks telling folks to don't fear, don't don't worry, uh, faith over, over fear and, and, and faith over worrying. And, and we told them that we have hope because Jesus came, Jesus died, and he rose again. But the reality is some folks were, are saying, how do I trust a God I don't know? And so to this week we're starting a series called Foundations, and the first message will be, who is God? We want to help them know who is God. Before they can trust him, they got to know him. And so this week we start a brand new series. Invite your friends to come on out for this brand new series called Foundations. Love you. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye.